Okay, with the file guys at the at the right end of the file, you can see this uh, plot. Okay, this is a plot of the yellow is the interest payments and the green one is the principal payments and the principal balance is this one. Okay, let me change the color of this. Let me change the outline. Okay, all right, this one. This is the principal balance. So you can see that over time, it, it's uh, going down. This is similar to the plot that uh, <clears throat> I, I hope you recall the, this one. Okay, remember we did this last time where we had the, uh, we, we filled this up, mortgage of 5 million, down payment of 10%, 15 years, 7.875%. And then we, uh, although last time it was November, this time I made it December so that it will start, payment will start January. That's exactly one full year for next year. And if we calculate this one, okay, I'll wait, waiting for it, guys. Okay, there. Okay, so here you can see that the payment and amortization and monthly amortization is 42,680. And then the, the yellow, the yellow part here, this one is your interest. Okay, so you notice that for this is yearly. Okay, so what happened here was we added all the interest payments for 2022 and all the principal payments for 2022 until 2036, because this is 15 years. So 15 years from 2022 to 2036. All right, so you notice that the total, total interest expense, total interest payments goes down on a yearly basis until such time that almost nothing is paid for interest and every, almost everything is paid for the principal, okay? And this one is the principal balance. So it's going down until at the end of the term, no more principal balance, which means the a payment is already paid in full. The monthly amortization is 42,680. And then here you have the total payment, okay? 7.682 million. If you subtract 4.5 million for the principal, then you have your interest, okay, the interest payment. Okay, for the attendance, guys, uh, this simulator after the class. Don't forget, guys. Huh? All right. So we did that last time. Okay. Now I'll, I'll leave you guys to uh, study how this was done. For the interest payments, you see that I use a certain function, this one. Oops. Okay, I use this function, cumulative interest payments, okay? So the cumulative interest payments will sum up all the interest payments. For this one, it's from year month one up to month 12. So that means it's for the first year, okay? And then I have formulas there, okay? Just try to see how I did this formula. Okay, so uh, I added the interest payments for year one up to year 15. So this is year 15, it starts from month 169 up to month 180. Okay, so notice I also did the same, but this time for the principal and the formula this time is cumulative principal. So we have two functions in Excel, cumulative interest payment, this one, cum interest payment, cum IPMT, and this one cum prink, which is the cumulative principal. Okay, and you can compute for the total interest for this period between one and 12. That means for the first period, first year, second year, third year, etc. And then we just subtract the, uh, the beginning balance is four five. Okay, and then we just subtract, okay. We just subtract how much is the total principal for the first year how much a total principal for the second year is, et cetera, until we get to zero, okay? So this is the plot, guys, of the uh, monthly amort amortization. It's the same as the one generated by, by uh, the pag big calculator. Okay, so let's go here. We saw this last time, okay? So the loan principal is 5 million, down payment is 10%. 
So the amount of refinance is four five. So we did also data validation here. Okay, you can you can change the uh, number of terms, and it will automatically give us the annual percentage rate, which is given here. If you recall, guys, we got this from the Pag-ibig uh, website. Okay, so total periods will be the number of years multiplied by twelve. In this case, it's one eighty. If you change the number of years, and of course, this will change. The monthly rate is simply your annual percentage rate divided by 12. And then the monthly amortization, we, we computed it by doing the PMT. Okay, and the total payment is equal to simply your, uh, the number of periods multiplied by the monthly amortization. So 7682444, the same as the one in the here, 7682444, so exactly the same. All right, so we were able to generate those figures. Now, one good way to manage your, your, the payment of your loan is to, if you have extra cash, you give extra payment each month. For example, if you pay this for one, uh, let's say you pay 1,000 every month. Okay, by paying 1,000 every month, what happens is that this payment will be deducted to the principal, okay? And what's significant about that? If it's reducted to the principal, then what happens is that the ending principal balance will be smaller. If the ending principal balance is smaller, then your interest for the next term, next period will be smaller, okay? So adding extra payment, which is a reduction in the principal, will, uh, will uh, result into uh, our ability to pay off our loan faster, okay? Instead of 15 years, maybe we'll be able to pay this at a faster rate. So if we pay it at a faster rate, then our total payment will decrease. So our total interest payments will decrease, okay? So let's, let's try this, okay? okay? But before we try this, guys, let me ask you one question. Let's make this dyna more dynamic and uh, let's make this more flexible. Uh, we can change the loan principal, okay? What if uh, I just borrow 1 million? Or what if I borrow just 6 million, okay? So let's, uh, let's modify this model such that if we click something here, so this one, this amount will change from, uh, let's make it a minimum of 1 million up to a maximum of 6 million. 6 million, guys, because pag ibig only allows up to a maximum of 6 million loan, okay, loanable uh, uh, loan, okay? So let me write here, uh, let me write here minimum, okay, not here. So let me just decrease this. Okay, so let me write here below this one. Okay, I'll write the minimum amount here, minimum and the maximum. I want this to be 1 million this 1 million, and I want this to be 6 million. Okay, so this is what we want, okay? Okay, we want that our minimum balance, okay, be, let me just, I want the minimum to, to be 1 million and the maximum to be 6 million. Why 6 million? Because as I said a while ago, Pag uh, Ibig only allows uh, borrowings up to 6 million. Okay, now we can also decide what will be the increments. Okay, let's put here the increments. Increment. Increment, okay, increment. Okay, when I say increment, what I want is that I want this to vary by, let's say, if you want one 100,000. So that means when you click something here, this one will change by 100,000. Or if you want 200,000, or if you want 500,000, or if you want 1 million. So if I click something here, guys, then uh, we'll start with 1 million and then increase by 1 million every, every click, 
So 1 million becomes 2 million, 3 million, 4 million, 5 million, 5 million, up to 6 million. Okay, so it depends on what we want on our requirement. So for purposes of uh, discussion, let's just make this uh, 200,000. So what do we mean by 200,000? When we click uh, that, when we click that tool that we're going to use, so our loan, our loan payment, our loan principal will change, will vary by or change by 200,000. So if it starts with 1 million, then it will become, when we click this, it will become 1.2 million, and then click on, click again, 1.4 million, click again, 1.6 million, et cetera. So the interval or the increment will be 200,000. And the maximum should be 6 million up to 1 million. So in a sense, guys, it's like a constraint. It's like doing data validation for your loan principal. And of course you can create also a list. So you can list here 1 million, 1.2 million up to 6 million. Okay, that's one way. And then remember, remember this, use data validation so that this can only include uh, sales in a list. Okay, but we're going to do, do it differently. Okay, how many among you have used uh, spinner buttons in Excel? Spinner buttons or spin buttons. Okay. okay, could you kindly chat, please? Kindly chat if you have used this. Yes or no? No, if you have not used it. Yes, if you have. Because if you have, guys, then I'll dispense. I'll uh, I'll not discuss this anymore. I'll move with the. Uh, I'll continue our discussion. Okay. No. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Okay, so I assume, guys, that uh, most of you, if not all of you, have not used the spinner buttons. Okay, so before we can set up spinner buttons or spin buttons in Excel, we have to we have to make sure that the developer tab is uh, can be seen in your computers. Now, kindly chat, please, if you can see developer tab, whether your Mac or your your Windows, guys. Can kindly see if you have developer tab as uh, in your Excel uh, worksheet. If not, guys, kindly state no, okay, so that I know who among you have the developer tab accessible. No, if not, yes, if accessible. Okay, thank you. All right, although I'm not getting yet. Okay, thank you. All right, good. Thank you so much, guys, for your response. So now we will, uh, because we need this. So how do we make this available? Okay, it depends on your computer. If you're using Mac, uh, let me start first with Mac. You have to click your, click your, the Excel logo there. Click it and then uh, choose preferences. Okay, preferences, and then you will be able to customize your uh, ribbon. Okay, so for the windows, I'll, I'll present it uh, this time. You go to your ribbon here, okay, anywhere here. Okay, you can click your tabs here, or you can just click, right click anywhere. Anywhere here, right click. Okay, I'm writing, I'm clicking right here. Or you can click here, even in the tab, okay, you can click this one. And then you'll see this customized ribbon. Okay, so you click customize ribbon and for Mac, this should also appear. Preferences and then uh, I think that's ribbon also next, okay. And then on the right side, guys, on the right side, you have here the main tabs. You can see here home, insert, page layout. And uh, I guess it should also be clicked here because that's the one that appears here. Now, the default is that the, the developer tab is not clicked. So kindly click this also, the developer tab. Okay, click that. And then below you have the okay button, then okay. All right, then it should now appear. The developer tab should now appear. Okay, so kindly chat again, guys. Uh, if you have already access to the developer tab, please, please uh, type yes, okay. Let's wait for the rest.
Okay, let's wait for six more students. Okay, thank you. A few more. Just a few more, guys. Let's wait for everyone. <clears throat> I hope everyone is able to access this developer tab. I strongly encourage you to have this uh, accessible because we're going to use this <clears throat> for our buttons, for our spinner buttons. Okay, four more have not yet indicated. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Okay, I, okay, good. Yes. Not yet, sir. Can you read? Okay, for Mac, John. Okay, thank you for the question, John. Okay, for Mac users, uh, uh, where do you find your Excel icon? Is it on the upper left, upper, yeah, upper left corner? So kindly find the Excel icon, the symbol of uh, uh, Excel, and then click it. Okay, let's see. Yes, thank you, John. If you click it, do you see preferences? Uh, may I request John to please unmute? Yes, sir, yes. Okay, so what do you see, John? If you click it and then can you see preferences? Yes, sir. If you click prefer preferences, what do you find? Um, Excel preferences. It's like a... Okay. Yeah. And then if you click that. Um, there's like authoring formulas and lists, sharing and privacy. Okay, so Sandale, huh? who among you is using Mac? Can you share, please, to the class what you did in order to access in developer? As you from what I know, preferences, and then anyone else using Mac, please? Yeah, Angeline, please, can you unmute yourself, please, and then share to the class what you did? Okay, sir, wait lang po. Sige. Thank you, Angeline. Sir, um, host disabled participant screen sharing daw po. Ah, sige, sige. Is, 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 ano ko na lang, ha? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'll make you for a host. Sige, para ma share mo yung ano. Okay, and then I'll post share first. Okay, so Angeline, you may share your screen, please. Okay, sir. Yes. So yes, stop share mo na pala. Hello. You, so you, you may see you may share your screen, Angeline. Uh, do you see my screen, na po, sir? Uh, wala pa. I can't see. It. Class, can you share see the screen of Angeline? Yes, sir. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, okay. Sige, kita ko na. All right. Sige, Angeline, please, for the benefit of the Mac users, please. Okay, po. So the Excel logo is located over here beside okay. Apple. Okay. So I just um. Click that, then go okay. to preferences. Preferences. And then um, you'll see here, you go to the ribbon and, and ribbon toolbar. and toolbar. Okay. Ribbon and toolbar pala. Ayan. And okay. Then you go to the main tabs. Okay. Here and then scroll down. Okay. And then in developer. In developer. You just check it and then click save. So, okay. And All then right. after that, yeah. Yeah, not available in chat. Thank you. Thank you, Angeline. <clears throat> okay. Uh, class, were you, John, were you able to access it? Yes. Thank okay, you. good. Thank you. Thank you. So let me share my screen again. <clears throat> All right. So can you now see my screen, guys? Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. So we now have developer, <laughs> the developer tab. <clears throat> so if we click the developer tab, okay, you can see that there are, uh, there's the code, add-ins, controls, XML. Now the developer tab is used for doing code programming Excel. Okay, so you, we use the, the, uh, the uh, program Visual Basic for Applications, VBA. <clears throat> so you can program Excel. You can make Excel work for difficult uh, 
difficult, let's say, processes, you can do that. You can do macros for that. We call it the programs are called macros. But <clears throat> for our purposes, guys, we're not we're not going to do programming here. We will just make use of some features of Excel, which you can only find in the developer tab. So here in the developer tab, you can see here the controls, okay? Controls, and then here insert, click insert. And then you have two, two, uh, two parts here. You have the form controls and the active X control. Okay, the active X control, this is more powerful than form controls. However, you will have to do programming. You have, you'll have to do a macro for active X control. Okay, for our purposes, we'll just use form controls where we will not do any programming, okay? So what are the form controls that you can use? Here you have, okay, the bottom control. Okay, here you have, so there are different types of controls. No? Okay, let me, okay, nawawala kasi kagad yung ano, yung, yung pangalan niya. Okay, so this is the combo box. This is the check box. This is the spin button, okay? This is the list button. Okay, this is the option, okay? This is also the group box. Okay, this is also the, uh, what's the name of this? Okay, nawawala yung pangalan. Okay, I forgot the name of this. Okay, can you see the name guys? Ano yung pangalan niya? Okay, scroll, scroll button, etc. So different types of form controls. And we use form controls in order to uh, control the elements of, our, of a particular cell. Uh, as I said, guys, begin with the end in mind. What we want is this cell, the loan principal, uh, the loan principal to change from 1 million up to 6 million. Increments of 200,000 without us having to type the numbers here. Okay, so we're going to use this spin button. So click this. Click your spin button. And then once you have clicked it, and if you hover around your Excel Word, Excel spreadsheet, you'll notice that you have this uh, crosshair, okay? This one. And then left click your mouse and then just drag, okay? Okay, so that's your spinner button, okay? You can, you can adjust the size. Okay, you can adjust the size here. All right, so what does this do? Okay, this button will uh, will change the value of a cell. Okay, this is the up and this is the down. So how do we change the value of a cell? Okay, first we have to make, uh, we have to link this to a particular cell. Okay, so let's link this spin button here. Let's link it here. Let's do that. How do you link it here? Right click the button and then here, you'll have form control. Click this, form control. Okay. So you see here the default. <clears throat> okay. The default is current value is zero, which means that uh, the value of whatever cell you're going to link this to is zero. In fact, we haven't linked it yet. This is the selling I was mentioning to you. The minimum value that we can have from this spinner button is zero. The maximum value is 30,000. Okay, here you're incrementing it by one. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go here. This is the most important thing here. Where are you linking this, this spinner button? Let's link it here. Let's link it to this cell, E6. Okay, now take note, the current value is zero. Minimum value is zero. Okay, it means that this cannot go to negative. The maximum value is 30,000. It means that this cell E6, the, the highest value that it can get is 30,000. Okay. All right. So let's click this. Okay. All right. So, and then let's click anywhere so that this is now, uh, this is now, uh, uh, okay, okay to use. All right. If I click this, okay, notice guys, one. Click two. Three, four, five. Okay. So now this cell is now changing. Okay. We click, every time we click it, it will increment by one because that's our program. If I click down, it will decrease by one. Okay. Of course, I can change the increment. 
Okay, so let me change, for example, the increment. Again, right click, uh, left click, format control. And then let's make the increment as, let's say, uh, 5,000. 5,000. Okay, so if we do this, it means that the value will start at zero and then the maximum is 30,000. Then every time I click our button, our spinner button, it will increment by 5,000. So let's, uh, okay, press okay, and then go out of the spin button. And then let's click this. There guys, you see, 5,000, 5,000. So it's, it keeps on increasing by 5,000 until it reaches. Okay, if I keep on increasing this, it will no longer change because the maximum that it can give us is 30,000. If I click down, so it's zero. Okay, it cannot go down, cannot go below zero because the minimum value is zero. Okay, let me pause for a while, guys, and ask you if, uh, if you were able to create our first spinner button. Click, uh, please. Uh, Chat, guys, yes, kung okay tayo, if you were able to create your first, okay, thank you, thank you. How about the rest, guys? Okay, we're waiting for the rest to, to chat. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you so, so much, guys, for your feedback. That's good. Okay, so let's click this once again. So we can modify this. But let's say if I want the maximum value to be, let's say, I want it to be up to 100,000. So will this work? 100,000. So minimum value is zero. Maximum value is 100,000. And then increments of 5,000. Let's see if this will work. Okay. Now take note. I get an error message. Scroll value must be between zero and 30,000. So this means, guys, that this value, the minimum value and the maximum value, can only be from okay can only be from 0 up to 30000 okay so we cannot increase this to 100000 it can, should only be up to 30000 only up to that one okay all right so the question is if this can only change from 0 up to 30000 how can we now generate numbers from 1 million up to 6 million okay Definitely, we cannot, we cannot link our formula here. We cannot link it here to D6. Because in D6, what we want are numbers from 1 million up, up to 6 million. Okay? And this can only work from 0 up to 30,000. So we need to do something. Okay? So what do we do, guys? Let's, uh, let me press OK here. Okay, we need to do some uh, manipulation here. Okay, how do we manipulate that? Okay, we will be working in this. Let's begin with the end in mind. The end goal in mind is to have numbers from 1 million up to 6 million increasing by 200. Okay? All right. If you wanted to increase by 200,000, what is the minimum value that we need? So our minimum value will simply be equal to 100,000 divided by 200,000. And let's fix the... Okay, let's fix the 200,000, control enter, five. And then I press down, guys, I copied it down, 30,000. So we need just from five up to 30. Okay, so what do I mean by this? Uh, we can use our scroll bar, our spinner button uh, with values from what, five up to 30,000, but we will have to multiply it by a certain number and that number is 200,000. So first, if I have five, if I multiply five by 200,000, I get 1,000, right? If I make this six times 200,000, that becomes 1.2 million, which is what we need, okay? If I make it 30, 30, 30 times 200,000, that's 6 million. That accounts for this one, okay? So what we're going to do is to limit our spin button from five up to 30 but we will have to multiply it by 200,000 so that we get 1 million up to 6 million, okay? So that's the little arithmetic trick that we're going to do. Okay, so let's do that, okay? Now, uh, let's give this a name class. 
let's give this a name. Okay, let's call this, uh, since this is our increment, right? We're incrementing by 200,000, and this will be critical in order to generate from 1,000 to 600, 6 million by multiplying it from five up to 30, okay? So let's call this, let's give this a name, increment one. Okay, so here guys, I, I used in our name box, increment one. Okay, there, increment one, enter. Okay, so this one has as a name now, increment one. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to do a trick, okay? Now the long principle now, okay, let's delete this. And then what we're going to do is we're going to link this one, okay? Link this to this number here. Okay, but before we do that, let's first modify this, okay? Format control, we want this to vary from, okay, we want it to vary from five, okay, up to 30, okay? And then the incremental change will just be one. So we just want to make it five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, up to 30, okay? Although it's from five to 30, we will multiply that with 200,000 so that it will become 1 million up to 6 million. Okay, I hope you get that, guys. Okay, all right. So now guys, notice that immediately it became five. If I click this, it becomes six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So it ends up to 30, okay? So this button now is only up to 30 and its minimum is only up to five, okay? So let me pause for a while, guys. And let me ask you, have you, have you uh, formatted your, our in input control so that the minimum value is five, the maximum value is 30, increment of one. And it's still linked to E6 there. So that when I click this guys, it will on only be, be, it will only be from five up to 30. Okay. All right. So good, good, thank you. Okay, so now we can now put the formula here. This will be equal to whatever increment is. Okay, so we can use the name increment one. And increment one, guys, is 200,000, right? That's 200,000. And then we multiply that by times this one, this cell, which we link to our spinner button. Okay, all right. Now it's 1,000, right? Okay, if I click this, guys, click. Oh, it becomes now 1,200, 1, okay? Because it's six times 200,000. And then I keep on clicking it, okay? It increases by 200,000 because that was what we wanted, okay? And then when it reaches 30, okay, see 30, this is 6 million, okay? If I try to increase it, it, it will not increase anymore because we have limited our, our E6, which is linked to our spinner button, we have limited it up to 30, okay? So that way, guys, we have conveniently, okay, made sure that our loan principal will only range from 1 million up to 6 million increments of 200 million, 200,000, okay? So let me pause for a while, guys. Okay, uh, did you get it, guys? Were you able to generate, okay, in our, our principal? It's increment times E6, this is E6, and E6 ranges from five up to 30. So can you chat? Yes, please, if you got it. Thank you. Thank you. How about the others, please? Okay, please feel free, guys, if you have any questions. Let's wait for the others to be able to chat and uh, I give a feedback if they were able to get it. Okay, good. Let me see if there are any questions. Okay, thank you so much, guys. Thank you for your feedback. Okay, now what's good about this is, you can click this, guys. Let's right click it and then we can actually adjust the size of this. Okay, wait. Adjust the size, can, okay. And then let's, we can use this. Okay, let's use this to cover 
this cell. There. Okay? So we have our spin button here beside our cell. Okay, you can check, guys. Okay. All right. Good. <clears throat> Good. So that takes care, guys, of this cell. That takes care of this cell. We want this cell to be from 1 million up to 6 million and increments of 200,000. Of course, you can change the increment. You, make, you can make this as 100,000 or, or 500,000. If you want the increments to be 100,000, okay, then you have to change, guys, the, uh, the format, okay? It should, the minimum value should be 10 and the maximum should be 60, okay? Or if you want it to be increments of 500,000, then you have to change the, uh, the form control, guys. You have to change our spinner button from two up to 12, okay? From two up to 12. To make sure that it's uh, from 1 million up to 6 million. Why, do, why don't we do that, guys, as an exercise? So right click, format control, We'll be changing this from two up to 12, okay, increments of one. All right, okay, all right. So take note, guys, click down, okay. Maximum is still 6 million and then it increments by 500,000. And minimum is 1 million. Okay, so it's very easy, guys, to, to set a spinner button. You just have to identify, define uh, what's your minimum value, what's your maximum value, and if you need to uh, put in some increments. Okay, of course, if your minimum value is from zero up to 30,000, then you can use directly or you can use this directly. Okay, because the minimum ranges from zero up to 30,000. However, if it's a value greater than that, then you, you will have to do some modification. Okay, let's, as a practice, guys, why don't we do this? This 10%, the, uh, the uh, down payment, why don't we make this vary from uh, 5% increments of, uh, let's say increments of 5%, 5%, 10%, 15%, 20, 25, and up to 30%. Okay, so let's uh, write that here. Okay, so what we want is a minimum of 5%, okay? and the maximum of 30% for the uh, down payment. Increment, let's make it increment of 5%, okay? So this one will now be the minimum divided by the increment, okay? And let's just follow the, the format of this. Happy down. Okay, so the value should range from one up to six, okay? And that's acceptable because, again, the value in the, uh, form control in the spin button ranges from zero up to 30,000. So, okay lang to guys. Okay, so we will let it increment by one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, but we will have to multiply it with 5%. Okay, so let's do that. We can copy this, we can copy this. Right click this, okay, control C. Okay, copy, copy, and then control V. Or command V, I think, sama, okay. So I copied, I copied the spin button. I'm going to put that there. But when I click the spin button here, guys, what changes? What changes is the loan principal. Okay, because we just copied this uh, from this one. And this one, guys, is linked to the loan principal, right? So we have actually two spin buttons here that are connected to, uh, are connected here to 6 million. Okay, so why, let's change this, guys. Format control, okay. And then let's link it to E7, the cell beside, beside the 10% here. I'll make this E7, okay. E7, and we said that the minimum is, what's our minimum? It's from one up to six. So I change this to one, and I change this to six. You don't have to change this, guys, because it will automatically change. And then just increments of one. So from one up to six, okay? Because we're going to mul multiply this with 5%, okay? All right. 
So let's give this a name also. Let's uh, let's call it increment two. Increment two. Okay, the first one was increment one. Enter. So this is our increment two. All right. So we can now notice, guys. Okay, notice that if I move this, okay. Okay, see, there's a number there okay, because we linked it. Okay, and the maximum is six, the minimum is one. So just to check if our formula is okay. okay and then let me bring that back here. All right, so now our formula will be equal to, you have to remove that. It will be equal to our increment two, okay? So that's our increment two. And then we multiply it by okay, increment two times, it should be E7, right? The number in, uh, behind that spin button. Okay, control enter. Okay, so you now have 15%. If I click this, so it's, in, it's increasing by 5%. Click down, okay. So it's uh, decreasing by 5%, up to minimum of 5%, maximum of 30%, okay? So using the spinner buttons, or spin buttons, guys, we were able to okay, change the value of a particular cell. Okay, uh, let me pause for a while. Okay, I'll give you a few seconds to work on this. I hope you were able to follow along. Okay, you notice, guys, if you change this value then are the values here will change kasi nakalink yung values natin dito sa mga givens natin okay kindly chat please kung yes if you were able to follow and you were, you were able to create your spin button for the uh, down payment if not guys you're free to ask questions please don't be ashamed to ask questions If you have done it, guys, please uh, uh, answer yes in the chat box so that I know that you're done. Waiting for your response, class. If you're done, kindly. Okay. Waiting for the response of other students. And I just have one. Okay. Pwede po makita yung format objects are uh, 500,000 increment. Okay. A ah, 500,000, okay, dito. Okay. So 500,000, kasi da, sabi natin, the control should range from two up to 12, no? Kinompute natin to. So if we do that, okay, format control, dapat gawin natin two up to 12. Okay. So, but let's revert kanina dun sa ano. Let's, uh, Let's revert to 5 up to 30. Balik tayo guys to 5 up to 30. Yeah. Okay. And then let's make this again 200,000. Balik tayo dun sa original natin. So that we have the same answer as the other classes. Kasi ginawa namin tong 200. Okay. Did that answer your question? Uh, let me see who was. Abigail, did that, that answer your question? Okay. Thank you. Okay, how about the rest, guys? Meron pa kayong, ano, may, uh, I need some inputs from you kung okay na kayo dito. Kung nagawa niyo yung spinner button natin. Okay, thank you, Abigail. 
Were you able to do the spinner button for the down, down payment? So this is increments of 5%. Okay. Ito naman yung loan principal natin, increments of 200,000. So let's uh, put it back to the original problem, 5 million, tapos 10% yung, ano, yung down payment. But the good thing about this is that you don't have to write this. You can just click the scroll button, spinner spin button, and then it will automatically give us the values that we that we want to appear as options for our loan principal and down payment. Okay, guys, I need some answers. Okay, na ba nagawa nyo na yung ano? Kindly uh, please answer kung if you were able to do this already, so that we can move on. Okay, I hope I get a hundred percent response from from the class. So far, dalawa pa lang tayo. Let's wait for the rest to, to be able to follow. Okay, good, good. Thank you so much. A few more, guys. A few more minutes to those who have not yet uh, been able to compute and do the spin buttons. Okay, thank you so much. Good, thank you so much. Now take note guys, that there are other types of buttons. If you go here, developer, okay, you may wish to experiment, insert, and pwede tong scroll button, pwede rin tong uh, uh, combo, okay? Okay, several buttons. You can experiment with the form controls, okay? But in ActiveX control guys, medyo mas mahirap to kasi may macro to. No? But of course you can use this, you can learn this. But at least, nasubukan na natin tong ano, ano, tong form controls natin. Okay, so let's proceed, guys. Let's continue doing this. Now, if we have extra payment, ano yung extra payment? So over and above yung monthly amortization natin, kunyari, kunyari guys, kunyari. So, pwede natin sabihin, 15 years, ang mahal, ano? Paano kung ang, ang taas ng interest, eh? Kasi ang interest payment natin, lagay natin dito. Interest payment natin will be equal to how much we paid in total minus the principal. Ang principal na kasi natin, 4.5 million. Ang total na binayari natin, 7.6 million. So ang interest natin, okay, so we can just copy the format. Ang total interest natin, 3.182. Okay. Kung gawin natin, kunyari 10 years lang to, so let's change this, 10 years. Of course, uh, 10 years, guys, liliit yung ano natin, number of months to pay. Kaso, lalaki yung monthly amortization, 52.8 million. Of course, the interest will be lower. <clears throat> 1.8 kanina, 3 point something. Okay. Uh, pero ang babayar natin per month, 52.8. Eh kanina, ang babayar natin, ano lang? Ano lang? It's only 42. So magdadagdag tayo ng 10,000. Suppose we can, hindi natin afford yun, so may option tayo. Kung hindi natin kaya magdagdag ng 10,000 per month para maging 52,000 to, pwede tayo magdagdag na mas maliit na lang. Okay? We can, what we can do is to have this extra payment. Kunyari, it can be 1,000, 2,000. Okay, so anong ginagawa nito? If we do extra payment, what happens is that this will be added to, to the reduction of your principal balance. Okay? Pero dapat guys, pag ginawa nyo to, so yung 42,680 per month na babayaran natin, okay? And if we want to make extra payment of 1,000 for example, you do not pay dun sa mga bayad centers. Huwag kayong magbabayad sa bayad center, huwag kayong magbabayad sa 7-Eleven. Okay, rather, pay dun sa main office mismo and tell them that you're going to make an extra payment plus the 42,680 so that marireduce yung month and principal natin. So let's do that. Let's first try with one. 1,000, okay? So ito, ibig sabihin nito, 1,000 <clears throat> every month, idadagdag natin. <clears throat> Therefore, our total payment will be yung monthly amortization natin. So let's put here some. Some of our monthly amortization and our uh, the additional payment. Okay, so magiging 43,680 na. Yan ay magiging total payment natin. <clears throat> Kasi 
<coughs> every month magdadagdag na tayo ng 1,000. Okay, therefore, pag magdadagdag tayo ng 1,000 every month, okay, how many months now will it take us to finish paying, paying the loan? Okay, take note, it will not be 180. It will be less than 180 kasi nagdadagdag tayo ng payment ng 1,000 para bawasan yung principal natin. So we can compute for, for this by using enter. Namitin natin sa number of periods. No? Ang rate natin is our monthly rate of 0.6563, comma. Our PMT will now be, ano yung PMT natin? Hindi na si 42. It will now be 43,680. Kasi nagdagdag na tayo ng 1,000. Kama, our present value will be itong 4,5. But we have to put negative there, remember guys? Kasi isa dyan outflow yung isa inflow. Okay? Kama, no future value type. You can just type zero, annuity, annuity ordinary, or just ignore that. Okay? And then control enter. Look, 172.33 na. Kung walang extra payment, 180 months. Eh. So three years kasi. Ngayon, nabawasan tayo ng eight months. Okay? Nabawasan tayo ng around eight months. Ang, ang babayar natin, maririta na natin loan natin within 172 or 173 months. Okay? And ano yung implication nun? Okay. Kasi nababawasan yung principal natin. Okay. Nababawasan yung interest. No? Kaya mas mabilis ma ma mabayaran ngayon. Kasi mas mabilis yung mas malaking binabayaran natin. Pero yung binabayaran natin dyan, okay, napupunta yung extra sa pagbawa sa principal. Okay, therefore, ilang years na to? Kung 172 uh, months divided by 12, no? Okay, so that means 14.36 years na lang as compared to 15. Okay, so we know that it will be less, no? And then total payment natin will be, magkano yung total payment? Ito yung babayaran natin, 43,680 times ilang months to? 172 months all in all. Okay, therefore, 7527626 versus 7682. So pag hindi tayo extra payment, 180 months yun, kasi 15 years, total payment natin, 7.68 million. Pag nag extra tayo per month, naging 7.52 million na lang. Nabawasan. So ang savings natin will be, this is the total payment without extra payment. This will be the total payment with extra payment. So naka-save tayo ng 154,000. So malaki din yun, no? And our total interest payments will now be okay, yung payment natin with extra minus 4.5 million. Okay, so dito ang total interest natin 3.03 million, dito 3.18 million. Okay? Of course, guys, kung wala yan, delete natin yan. Delete ano nangyari? Wala extra payment, so pareho lang, no? Pareho lang dito sa, sa scenario na to. Pero let's make it, for example, if you have 5,000 per month na extra, no? ibayad natin yan. Tignan nyo guys, nangyari. With the extra payment, what happened? Ito, instead of 180, naging 147 na lang. Okay? Instead of 15 years, naging 12.31 years na lang. Okay? Instead of paying 7.68 million, naging 7.04 million na lang. Nakasave tayo ng 641,000. Ang total interest na payment natin dito, around 3.2, dito 2.54 na lang. So there's, there is sense, guys, in, ano, in paying extra. No? Pero again, guys, you have to pay this dun sa pag-ibig office mismo. Hindi, not in any uh, uh, branch. Okay? Kasi otherwise, hindi, hindi makakredit sa principal. Okay. Clear, guys? 47,000, sabi natin kanina, di ba yung pag 10 years lang, okay, kasi ano siya, naging pag 10 years, di ba 52,000, sabi natin ang scenario, hindi natin kaya yon So kung kaya natin mag ng 47, uh, pwede natin gawin yon guys, no? na mag-extra payment tayo every month para ma-reduce yung interest natin. Okay? Kasi pag 10 years to, di ba, matanggalin mo natin to, ha? zero, Pag 10 years to, gawin natin 10 to. Okay. Ang interest lang natin, 1.8. Eh. Kanina, 2.5 something, di ba? So, mas mabilis pa, mas maganda pa rin talaga kung kaya natin magbayad ng mas mabilis. No? Kasi mas lesser yung interest nun. And of course, mas less yung periods natin na magbayad. 120 months. 
okay? 12 years, uh, no, 10 years. Okay. All right. So, ibalik natin sa original problem natin. Okay. One, what's good thing about, the good thing about this one, guys, pag nagbago tayo ng mga givens, ito, automatically, di ba? Dynamic in that sense. Magbabago na yung, yung model natin. All right. So, let's now create our amortization table. So, ito, 180 months, ano? Kasi 15 years tayo. 15 times 12, that's 180 months. So let's start this one, one. Okay, so anihin ko lang yung gawin kong 12, yung font natin para mas malaki. And then dito, i-center ko lang siya. Okay. Uh, remember guys, 180 to, di ba? 180. So let's fill this up. Okay, I hope you recall guys. From home, you go to fill. And then series. Okay, columns natin, pababa, column. Step value is 1, 1 ang increment natin hanggang up to 180. 180, there. Okay, and then automatically hanggang 180 net. Okay? So let's first fill up the first month. No? Yung first month natin, wala tayong ipifix dyan kasi talagang uh, wala tayong ikakapi dyan. Eh. Ang ikakapi natin is starting with month 2. So let's start first with the uh, beginning balance. So month one, guys, ang beginning balance natin, 4.5, no? 4.5 million. Tapos magbabayad tayo. No? So month one, magbabayad tayo. So month zero, humiram tayo. Okay? The first payment will be month one. We're going to pay, how much are we going to pay, guys? 42, 680. Okay? And then extra payment natin dito magagaling. Ibig sabihin, kung ginawa natin 1,000 yan, okay, automatically, guys, magre-reflect dito yung 1,000. Okay? Pero gawin muna natin kung zero. Let's assume muna na walang extra payment. So how much will be the interest? The interest will always be based on the balance. No? So let's start with the, let's compute for the interest here. It's the beginning balance, 4.5, and then we will have to impose the monthly interest there of 0. 0.6563. Okay? So, yan. I-copy na natin yung uh, printer na to para okay, para two decimal places then. So, how much will be the principal? Okay, the principal payments will now be okay. Add natin you will have to add kung magkano yung payment natin at saka extra payment natin. No? Okay? So, mapupunta sa principal, magkano ba yung binayad natin plus our extra payment natin and then imaminus natin yung mapupunta sa interest. <clears throat> okay, remember that, guys? Okay? Okay. So, ito, 13,000 yung mababawa sa principal. Had we added 1,000, okay, Ano nangyari? O, diba? Tumaas yung principal payments. Pag tumaas yung principal payment, liliit yung month and principal natin. So liliit yung interest kasi the interest, uh, which will now go here, yung beginning balance natin will be linked here. Okay? So liliit yung interest natin kasi mas maliit na yung principal balance natin. Okay? So ibalik mo na natin ulit sa zero to. Guys? Alright. So our month and principal will be yung beginning balance natin minus the payment to the principal. Yan. Okay. Alright. So, yung month end natin na principal, that will be now the beginning of the second month. Okay. Let me pause for a while, guys. Okay. And pakichat, guys, kung nakaabot kayo dito sa first row na to. Month one na payment. Okay. And if you have questions, please feel free to ask your questions. Ano po yung ulit ng formula math and principal, okay? 
So, tandaan nyo guys, yung math and principle is simply just magkano yung beginning balance, no? Tapos magkano yung ibabawas natin sa balance na to. So, that's the principal payment. Okay, thank you for that question. Okay, any other questions, guys? Savings and total interest payment. Okay, uh, thank you, Angeline. Okay, how about Marian? Si Marian, a formula down ng savings at saka total interest. Okay, sige. Uh, savings, the ang savings natin, wait. Uh, Marian, saan siya ito? This one? Yes, for that one. Okay, that, this savings is simply, magkano yung payment natin? Okay, minus, minus yung payment na may extra payment at saka yung payment na walang extra payment. Okay, so we're comparing those, no? Okay, so dito wala. So this minus this. Dito walang savings kasi wala naman tayong extra payment dito, eh, no? So pareho lang siya, pareho lang nito at saka ito. But had we had, let's say, 1,000, naglagay tayo ng 1,000 dito, may savings tayo, no? The savings here is the difference between the uh, amount to be paid kung walang extra payment at saka yung amount to be paid kung may extra payment. So sabi nga natin dito, ang savings natin dito sa interest payments is 154,817. Wala tayong savings sa principal kasi talagang 4.5 yung principal na babayaran natin guys. No? Ito, talagang dapat 4.5 yung bayaran natin sa principal. Okay, nagkakatalo na yan dun sa interest. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, any other questions guys? Any questions here dito sa no sa any portion here? Sa payment guys ito, ulitin ko lang no. E equal to dito lang yan no. Extra payment equal here. Okay? So interest will be equal to the beginning balance multiplied by the monthly interest rate. Okay? The principal will simply be equal to I-add natin si payment at saka si extra payment. Okay? And then i-minus natin si interest. Yun ang i-minus natin sa principal. Okay? Once again, guys, uh, ilagay ko lang muna dito zero. Okay. Three so far, guys. Pakichat nga kung all of us have this row one. Okay? Who among you have row one already? Okay, gawin muna natin zero yung extra payment natin. Ha? Okay, pakichat naman please. Kindly uh, feedback if you have already row one. Ito. Okay na row one na uh, amortization table natin. Kindly chat please. Thank you. Thank you guys for the feedback. Yes. Okay. All right. Salamat ha. Thank you so much. Okay. So, punta na tayo dito guys sa month 2 natin. So, sa month 2, what will be our beginning balance? Siyempre, ang beginning balance natin, yung ending balance ng, ano, ng month 1. So, we'll just link this here. Yan. Okay. 446851. Ito yun. What will be our payment? our payment will still be 42. Yan pa rin, no? Kasi hindi magbabago yan. That will be monthly payment. And then we will fix yung row 14. No? Fix natin tong row 14. So that when we copy this down, hindi siya magbabago. Okay, kasi we're copying it down the column D. Eh, hindi naman nagbabago si column D. So no need to fix the D here. Okay. All right, extra payment again, guys. Ili link natin dito. Link natin dito sa cell natin for extra payment. And then fix again the row six. Okay. Interest now. What will be our interest? Interest will always be equal to whatever the balance is. Okay. Imo multiply natin siya ng interest rate. Yan. And the interest rate should be fixed. Dapat naka fix yung row kasi ikakapi down natin yan. Okay, enter. And then the principal will be, parang yung kanina din, i-sum up natin yung total na binayaran natin, which is the, the payment 
and the extra payment, sum natin siya, minus our interest there. Minus our interest. Okay? There. Okay, and then what will be our month and principal? Our month and principal will now be <clears throat> beginning balance minus the principal payment. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, any questions, guys? Are row two? Okay, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. No? Okay, kung walang questions guys, paki-chat kung meron na kayong row 2. Kung pareho yung row 2 natin. And let's chat yes guys if you have the same row 2. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for that feedback. <clears throat> okay, what we're going to do now guys is Okay. Copy this. Okay, itong row 2 natin, i-copy natin hanggang dun sa 180 natin. There. Okay, then true enough guys, kita natin na kita natin guys na zero na yung dulo. Okay, did you get this guys? 180 months nga, no? Nag zero na yung balance natin. All right. Now everything's okay, no? Everything's okay. Wala naman tayong extra payment, no? Tapos sabi natin 180 months mababayaran na. Okay, no difference between this side and this side. Now we will have a problem when we now go here. Paano kung mag-extra -e payment na tayo? Okay, kunyari maglagay tayo ng payment na extra payment na 2000. So with this 2000, guys, ano nangyari? Okay. Pumasok na extra payment natin dito monthly, no? Tapos sabi natin, dapat within 165 months. No? In 165 months, 166 kasi may, may butal pa ito. No? Dapat mag-zero out na yung ano natin. So that's around 13.78 years. No? Okay, so let's take a look at our model. Okay, the problem with our model, guys, is... Okay, of course, magtutuloy-tuloy pa rin sa 180 yan kasi hanggang dyan eh. Pero dapat hanggang 166 lang siya. No? Kasi pagdating ng 166, okay, pagdating ng 166 guys, ano na? No? Yung, yung okay na yung ano natin. Okay na yung, yung actually, sobra-sobra na yung payment natin. No? As the uh, computation here said, dapat 165.36, dapat fully paid na tayo. Okay. Kaso yung model natin guys, hmm, tumuloy-tuloy pa rin siya kasi hanggang Hanggang dulo yung ano natin, yung formula natin. So this is not a good dynamic model. Kasi ang magandang dynamic model guys, kung sinabi dun sa model sa taas, 166 months, dapat ending na da dapat dito yan. Dapat hindi na magtutuloy sa 167 hanggang 180. Okay? So that's what our goal is. Gusto natin dynamic yung model natin so that pag nag, ano man nagbago dito, whether it's the amount or the percentage down payment, so, kung magbago yan, kung magbago to, guys, whatever the changes are, dapat automatically yung model natin should only be up to kung ano man months, guys, yung ano natin, yung lalabas dito with extra payment man o wala. No? Kasi again, kunyari, 5,000 yung extra payment natin. So, dito sa 5,000 extra payment, 147, 148 months, tapos sa tayo eh. Diba? eh pero pag tinan natin dito, yun know, Okay, tama nga 148 oh, nag-negative na siya dito. Okay? Pero tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya, di ba? Okay? Tuloy-tuloy pa rin siya hanggang 180 kasi nga yung formula natin, dinag natin hanggang dito, no? Hanggang 180. But we don't want that anymore. No? Gusto natin kung ano man yung natapos yung month dito, okay? Yun dapat ang magre-reflect sa model natin. Ito guys, hindi na mag-aano to, no? 180 siya, unless, not unless, binago natin to. Not unless ginawa natin, siyempre, pag ginawa natin itong 30 years, magiging ano na yan, magiging 360 na to. 
But let's assume that one 15 years lang tayo. So hindi na magbabago tong 180 months na to. Okay, so let's now remodel this. Okay, ang gawin natin, burahin natin tong ano, from month to control shift down arrow. Okay, i-delete natin yan. Okay. Okay, we will now change the formulas here so that Okay, so, so that ano dapat yung, for, yung table natin should be flexible also, should be dynamic. So hindi na natin pwedeng i-gamitin yung, ano, yung field dito. No? Kasi yung field dito, it will, it will fill up kung saan natin ilalagay. Kunyari, 180 hanggang 180. Okay, may problema nga tayo dun kasi ito 147. Dapat hanggang 148 lang dapat yung month natin dito. Okay, so let's do that. No? Now, Okay, uh, so Excel meron tayong if function. No? I don't know if you have uh, used this if function, pero itong if function ginagamit to okay, para magbigay ng two types of value. No? Pwedeng yung uh, value if uh, the condition is met or value if the condition is not met. So pwedeng dalawang values. No? So dapat may test tayo. Magta-test tayo nito. No? Check whether a condition is met and then returns one value if true and another value if false. Okay. So tinan natin yung syntax nito. If, then we have the logical test. And then value if true. And then value if false. Okay. So pwedeng, ano yan, pwedeng pagdating sa value if true, uh, dapat ilalagay mo natin yung logical test. No? Tapos dito, okay, dapat dito, value if false. So pwede pang ulit, kung may isa pa tayong itetest ulit, pwede pa natin lagyan ng if ulit dito. No? Tapos uulitin natin yung syntax ng if statement. Okay, to illustrate that, okay, let me, let's give an example dito. Okay, so I'm going to increase this okay, para kita natin yung formula natin. Okay, now kailan ba guys dapat magkaroon ng month? Kasi kanina, di ba, uh, kanina hanggang 180 tayo eh, di ba? Okay, dapat kanina, kunyari dito, no? dapat sa 148, sa month 148, dapat tumigil na siya. Dapat wala ng 149, 150, etc. Okay? So dapat wala na to Hindi na dapat i-reflect yung month 180. Kasi sabi dito, matatapos yung, yung, ano natin, yung payment sa uh, month 148. Okay? So how do we do that? <clears throat> okay? So number one, Tignan natin, no? Is equal to, <coughs> so if, <coughs> lagyan natin if statement to. So what's our logical test? Okay, ang logical test natin, unang-una, dapat, okay, ulitin ko, ha? kunyari, andi dito na siya, no? <coughs> so dapat natapos na to. Dapat wala ng 149. Pagdating dito, dapat wala na rin kasunod kasi wala na yung, ano eh, wala na yung previous eh. So ang unang test natin, meron pa bang ano, meron pa bang previous value? Meron pa bang previous month? Okay. Ito dapat yung 180 hindi na natuloy yan. No? Kung matatapos siya sa 148. If it ends at 148, <clears throat> then there should be no 180 value. Why? Because there's no value before 180. Wala na 179 eh. Kung wala na 179, so dapat wala na rin 180. So the test for that is is equal to if if the if, so logical test, ano? open parenthesis, if the previous month, B20, is equal to nothing. Okay, yan ang ibig sabihin. This one means nothing. Okay, Excel will read the two quotes and then walang nakalagay dun sa gitna niya. Okay, so ang sinasabi dito sa formula na to, if the previous month is nothing, kung wala nang previous month, then give us nothing. Okay, huwag na siya maglalagay. Kung wala na tayong makikita doon sa previous month, okay, dapat wala na siyang ilalagay sa susunod. Kunyari, andito na siya. No? Okay, andito na siya. Meron pa bang nakikita dito sa previous month? Wala na. So dapat wag na siya maglalagay ng month dito kasi wala na yung previous. So let's go back here. <clears throat> okay. There's another test dapat maan natin, makita natin. Hindi lang yun. Eh. Dapat titinan din natin month and principal. So ito test din natin. If the month end principal, if this, okay, 
if this is equal to what? Kailan guys, hindi na dapat lagyan ng month? If the month and month and principal is equal to what? If it's equal to, yes, correct. Thank you, Angeline. Huh? Pag nag-zero na to, tama. Angeline, salamat. Huh? Pag nag-zero na previous month, okay, if that is equal to zero, then ano dapat yung ilalagay sa ano na to? Ano ilalagay dapat sa month? Anyone? Kunyari, zero na to, guys. Lalagyan pa ba ng month? Yung next month? Okay. Wala na, correct. Thank you, Angeline. Yeah, zero, no? So dapat, guys, Dapat, nothing na yan. If the previous month is equal to zero, then don't put anything anymore dun sa, sa month. Otherwise, okay, kung meron pang previous or meron pang kasunod, this is not yet zero, ano ilalagay natin? What should be the next here? Dapat ano? Month ano na? Month? Answer guys? You can unmute yourself please. What should be the next month here? Month ano dapat? Month 2. Okay, correct dyan. No? Month 2 na dapat. No? So ano ilalagay ko na formula dito? Hindi natin pwedeng ilagay yung 2. Kasi pag ilagay natin yung 2 dyan, pag kinapi natin dyan, pababa, laging 2 na lang yun. No? It will always be 2. Eh, alam natin nagbabago yung month. Eh. So what should be the value uh, if false? Kung hindi pa 0 to, ano yung value na ilalagay natin dito? Anyone, please? It will be... Sabi nyo, month 2. Tama. Pero paano natin nakuha si month 2? Okay. Paano guys? Paano? Okay. In the interest of time, guys. The previous month plus 1. Diba? Dadagdagalan natin ang isa. Kasi next month na yun eh. No? Diba? Diba, class? Ang previous natin, month 1. Now, add 1. Add 1 to the... Th thank you, Robert. No, Add 1 to the previous month. Now, kaya B20 yung previous month plus 1. Okay, so let's see, guys. What answer do we expect here? May previous month ba? Meron, no? Tsaka ito pa. Equal to 0 na ba to? Hindi. So dapat ito should be 2. Ayan, 2 ito. Dapat mag maglagay siya ng 2 dito. Okay. Now, let's take a look if I copy this. Yan. If I copy that, ano nangyari? Tignan nyo guys, hindi, nag, hindi dito nagkaroon ng month. No? Bakit? Test natin. Ha? If B21 is nothing, give us nothing. Diba? Eh, pero may value to eh. Diba? May 2 to. So, pwedeng lagyan natin ng plus 1 yan. No? Kaso may tinest tayo dito. No? If the previous month end is equal to 0, then don't put anything. Otherwise, Add one. Okay, kaso wala pa tayong linalagay dito sa month and principal dito. No? So that's why nung tinignan ko ni Excel, okay, wala, walang value. So zero to. So hindi na siya naglagay. Yan, hindi na siya naglagay dito. Okay, so that's how this formula will work. No? Okay, so tuloy lang muna natin. No? Okay, beginning balance. Kailan tayo magkakaroon ng beginning balance? Lagi natin ililink dito. Kung may value to, kung may month, dapat lagyan natin ng value to. Yung payment, yung extra payment, etc. Everything here, guys, kung may value pa yung month natin, dapat lalagyan natin ng value yung mga, uh, yung mga measures na to. Okay. So what will be our beginning balance? Again, if, if this month is equal to nothing, kung wala ng value yan, huwag ka na maglagay sa beginning balance. No? Otherwise, it will be equal to Kung may value pa to, yung month na to, ibig sabihin, either may previous pa or hindi pa to zero, di ba? Kaya lang naman nagkakaroon ng value to kung hindi pa zero to eh. O kaya wala, meron pang previous value ng month, no? So ano yung magiging beginning balance natin? It will be the previous month and balance. Yeah. Okay, so that's how we <clears throat> we write this formula, no? So check natin, may month pa ba dito? Yes, meron pa. Kaya kukunin niya yung 4.481. And true enough, control enter, kinuha niya nga. Kinuha niya to. Kasi may nakita pa siyang value ng month to dito. Okay, how about payment? Ganun din. If, if this is equal to nothing, give me nothing. Otherwise, ang payment natin will be equal to this one. 
Okay, naka-fix siya. Fix the row. Yan. Okay, remember, our monthly amortization will not change. 42680.24. Okay? All right. So, 46.82 pa rin. No? Kasi, nagbigay siya ng value kasi meron pang mga tayo. Eh. Extra payment. Okay? Is equal to if, again, if the month is wala nang laman, if the month is equal to nothing, then give us nothing. Otherwise, otherwise, kung may month value pa, okay, click to the extra payment. Click it to the extra payment and then fix. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sige, lagay mo natin dito ulit na zero muna guys. Ha? Balik natin sa zero. Ito guys, pwede rin kayo mag-spin control dito. No? Nangyari, ranging from 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, maybe hanggang 5,000. Pwede, pwede nyo rin lagyan ng ano to. No? Okay? So, mas maganda sana kung kung uh, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 to. No? Pero ito guys, pwedeng ano to. Uh, pwedeng direction na to. 1,000 hanggang 5,000. Pwede yun kasi it's within the uh, ano, it's within the a spinner button, no? Say, gawin natin. Mabilis yan lang, ha? Copy natin to, Okay. Control C. Control B. Okay. I'm sorry. Copy. Control B. <clears throat> okay. Ito. Yeah, okay. So, <clears throat> mabilis lang to, no? Format control. Okay, ililink natin. Dito na natin ilink. Diretsyo na dito, no? So, this is, ano, ano to? Dito. Link na natin dito. Hindi na natin kailangan yung helper column. Di Diretsyo na natin to. So, minimum value. Minimum value of, okay, pwedeng zero. Maximum value is, sabi natin, 5,000. Okay, 10,000. 10. 10,000. And then increment of kahit uh, 500. No? Ganun lang. Increment of 500. Okay? So pwede yung direction yan dito, guys. No? Ibig sabihin, this extra, kasi nakalink dito sa H6, it will vary from 0 up to 10,000. Mag-i-increment siya ng 500. Okay. There you go. Okay. So, okay. Yan. Click natin, zero muna siya, no? Then click natin, 500. Yan. Increment siya ng 500. Yan. Okay, hanggang 10,000 yun. Okay? So depende guys kung ano yung kailangan ng cell natin. Ito, pwedeng diretso kasi nga, sabi natin from 1,000 to, uh, from 500, from 0 to 10,000. It's way, eh, pwede siya kasi sabi natin, uh, sa format control natin, from 0 up to 30,000 pwede. Okay, so since pasok naman siya, okay, so diretso na. Okay, so Okay, zero ko na muna. All right. So now interest, guys. Ala, muna time na. Interest is equal to what will be interest? If again, if if the month is equal to nothing, then give us nothing. Otherwise, the interest payment will be the beginning balance multiplied by the monthly rate and then naka-fix siya, no? Naka fix. Okay, control enter. Yan. All right. Again, the principle, guys, is equal to if if the month is nothing, then give us nothing. Otherwise, funny principle natin sum ng payment at saka extra payment. Okay, and then minus the interest payment. There. D21, E21, sum up natin, ima-minus natin yung interest payment. Nothing to fix there, guys. Hindi natin i-fix yan kasi lahat yan, pag kinapi down natin, bababa yung ano natin. Okay. There. Okay. And lastly, guys, is equal to if, okay, if, this one, kung wala nang laman yan, okay, give us nothing. Tapos may isang if pa tayo, no? Ano yung if pa natin? <clears throat> Tingnan natin guys yung i-compare natin si beginning balance at saka si principal. Kasi kunyari ito, 100 na lang itong beginning balance. Tapos ang principal payment natin, 500. 
E di ba ano na? E di ba sobra-sobra na guys? Okay? Di ba sobra-sobra na yung beginning balance natin? So dapat isi-zero out na natin to. Kung mas malaki na yung principal kaysa sa beginning balance. Okay? So let's do that. Is the if another if, no? I-test natin if. If the beginning balance minus the principal So kung i-minus natin sila, guys, beginning balance minus principal, kung greater than zero siya, okay, ibig sabihin, mas malaki pa si beginning balance kaysa kay principal. Okay? So ano ilalagay natin dito sa month end? I-minus natin talaga siya. No? We will subtract this. Control C, Control D. Okay? Kung kunyari beginning balance 500, principal payment 200, O, ibig sabihin, may balance pa talaga. So, ima-minus natin yon 500 minus 200. Pero kung hindi, guys, kunyari 500 to, tapos si principal, 510. Okay? Magbibigay pa ba tayo ng math and principal? Hindi na. Okay? Wala na kasi tapos na. Eh, no? Mas malaki na yung principal na ibabayad natin kayo sa beginning balance. So, isi-zero out na natin to Zero na natin yan. Okay? Alright, so this is another if statement na dapat ilagay natin dito. Hindi lang dapat yung, yung uh, nothing to. No? Pati dapat i-compare natin yung beginning balance at saka yung principal balance natin. Okay, it's already time guys. Uh, may I have just one minute just to finish this? Okay. So ito guys ngayon, tinan yung nag-tree na dito. Kasi may balance na dito eh. Kaya naglagay na siya ng math. No? Okay, i-drag natin to guys. Gawin natin. Para kasi minsan yung iba nag, nag, nagbabayad ng 50 years. Eh, no? Para pwede itong 50 years. So, so kung 50 years to times, uh, times 12. So that's 600. So gawin natin, eh, ano natin hanggang, ano lang, hanggang, hanggang, lagay natin hanggang 500. No? Okay? Para makita natin kung okay yung model natin. No? Okay, 500. Okay. All right. So what happened, guys? Okay, okay pa yung model natin, no? Okay yung model. In fact, medyo sumobra na tayo dito. Nag-181 na tayo dito. So we will have to address this kasi sumobra na tayo dito, eh, no? Okay, kasi dito, malamang to, less than... Okay, if uh, if you change this one, tinan nyo, ha? Ayun, no? So ibig sabihin, napakaliit na sentavos na to, no? Napakaliit na centavos na practically zero na siya. Pero since ang question natin dito, okay, dito, zero, pa ba, zero ba to? Hindi eh. Hindi siya zero, di ba? So naglagay pa siya ng isang number. Okay, so we will have to fix that, no? Okay, isa pa guys, tinan natin. Maglagay tayo ng extra payment. Okay, and I'll end in this. I'm sorry for the extension. Maglagay tayo kunyari dito ng 5,000. Kunyari 2,000, 2,000. Ay, dito pala yan. No? Sorry. Dapat dito pala ginamit natin. Okay. 2,000 guys. So dapat 164 months tapos na. Eh, no? Okay. Dapat 164. Let's see what happened. Okay. Uh, Sa inyo guys, you got this? Did you get this guys? Pakichat nga guys kung yes. Kasi kanina sa isang class guys, hindi namin nakuha ito, nag-error siya. Tumuloy-tuloy pa rin, no? Tapos nag-values-values dyan. Ibig sabihin may mali. No? Tapos may mali pa rin tayo dito guys. Kasi tinan nyo ito. Okay, di ba ang balance lang natin dito, 34,000? Pero, bakit tayo nagbayad ng 40,000 pa? Tapos nag-extra payment pa tayo ng 2,000? Di ba? Unrealistic na yun. Mali na yun. Di ba? Kasi 34,000 na lang yung balance natin. Tapos magbabayad pa rin tayo ng 40,000 tsaka mag extra payment ka pa ng 2,000. So something's wrong with this one guys. Okay? So we will have to modify this. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to, uh, of course, naka-record to, no? ipopost ko to. Yung remaining na to, yung uh, uh, fixing the model guys, if yung pag-fix ng model na to para foolproof na siya, tama na siya. Okay, kasi kunyari pag ginawa natin Doon sa kabilang class, nung ginawa natin na, namin to, guys, hindi siya tumatama eh. Nagkakaroon pa rin ng errors dito. Okay, nagkakaroon pa rin ng errors. No? So I'm going to uh, 
make another recording and then post the correction pati yung correction sa dulo kasi mali na tong dulo eh di ba bakit mali to 26,000 lang yung balance natin bakit pa tayo nagbayad ng 40,000 bakit pa tayo nag extra payment ng 5,000 okay di ba papayag ba tayo nun? hindi syempre dapat ang babayaran lang natin yung eksakto lang para ma-close out lang yung account natin okay so let me uh, stop this stop recording